Hi, I'm Gladys, and today we're going to assemble the fancy crib. Make sure you have all the proper pieces and hardware, and if anything is missing, please call Consumer Care. One way to know you're working with the correct hardware is to compare it with the illustrations that come in the instructions. The instructions are located in the pouch attached to the mattress support. Like that. The first step is to attach the posts to the sides of the crib. And for this you will need four barrel nuts, four 55 millimeter bolts, six 40 millimeter bolts, and the provided Allen wrench. Remember to always use the labels as guidance. Insert the barrel nut on its side so the bolt can go through. Remember to use the short side of the Allen wrench to appropriately tighten the bolt. And that's it. The second step is to attach the front rail and stabilizer bar to the sides of the crib. And for this, you will need two metal pins, six barrel nuts, and six 80 millimeter bolts. And don't forget the provided Allen wrench. Insert the barrel nut on its side so the bolt can go through. Remember to use the shirt side of the Allen wrench to appropriately tighten the bolt. And that's it. The third step is to attach the mattress support. And for this, you will need four 18 millimeter bolts and the provided Allen wrench. Remember to use the highest position for your newborn and then go downwards as your child grows. Remember to use the short set of the Allen wrench to appropriately tighten the bolt. And that's it. The fourth step is to attach the back rail. And for this, you will need two barrel nuts, two 80 millimeter bolts, and the provided Allen wrench.
Insert the barrel nut on its side so the bolt can go through. Use the short side of the Allen wrench to appropriately tighten the bolt. And that's it. The fifth step is to attach the back top rail. And for this, you will need two metal pins, two barrel nuts, and two 80 millimeter bolts. And of course, they provided Allen wrench. Insert the barrel nut on its side so the bolt can go through. Use the short side of the Allen wrench to appropriately tighten the bolt. And that's it. Put the instructions back in the pouch they came in. You're going to need them later. Congratulations, you've just assembled your fancy crib. Now we're going to convert your crib into a day bed. Remember those instructions you put away? You're going to need them. The first step is to remove the front rail and stabilizer bar. And for this, you will only leave your Allen wrench. Remember, the mattress support should be on its lowest position since your child is now bigger. Yes, that. The second step is to attach the stabilizer bar. And for this, you will need four barrel nuts and four 80 millimeter bolts. And of course, they provided Allen wrench. Remember to insert the barrel nut on its side so the bolt can go through. Use the short side of the Allen wrench to appropriately tighten the bolt. Congratulations, and now you have a day bed. Toddler guardrails and bed conversion rails are available for purchase. 